So now that I've completed building the form and setting up all the notifications and all that business, I actually want to bring that form over into um, my own web page over here, into my contact page. And the process is, is very simple. I'm going to essentially go to Wufu, copy the embed code, paste it into my uh, web page, and once I save it, it just appears there. So, so let me do just that. Um, I'm going to go to the form manager and under forms you see the form that we created and one of the options down there you're going to see is code. Uh, click that and then here you'll see a bunch of different ways that you could actually um, use the form you created within your own uh, application. So the easiest way to do it is just go right here to embed form code and uh, we're going to copy the iframe version of the code from iframe into our web page. Now you also have a JavaScript version that they say they recommend and now I'm looking they have a WordPress version too. Um, it, I think that either way is going to be fine. The JavaScript version, you know, JavaScript runs on your computer so I'm sure that by using the JavaScript version you sort of take the load off of their servers to render the form um, and put it put the burden on the browser itself. Uh, this is most of the time this would be the better way to go. iframe I feel like when you're working with a bit more complex um, uh, comp complex frame you know applications not something as simple as what we're doing here the iframe seems to be a little more uh, consistent. Uh, what, whichever way you want to do is fine. Obviously if you try the JavaScript version and it doesn't work well then try the iframe version but I'm going to use iframe. So there I go I copied it and now I'm going to go to my contact page. So here I have it in Dreamweaver and basically what I just have currently is just a bunch of dummy content in here that I'm just going to pull that out and right underneath contact over here I'm just going to paste the code. Now check out what we got. We have an iframe code that has some properties on there like height, allow transparency, a whole bunch of stuff. We're not going to mess with any of that. Um, and we're just going to save it. And now let's go back to our page and check out what the result is. When I refresh it, here we go. Okay, cool. There's my form. That's nice and easy and straightforward. Um, now the issue is I am actually missing my submit button because we have things are just too big over here and now uh, you see the submit button there it is it appears when I get this a little bit smaller and hides when it's too large that's because uh, well that's one because my form is too tall and two because I have the um, overflow for the up and down hidden because otherwise what should happen if I didn't have overflow is that you'd get a um, a bar over there a scroll bar that the user could scroll down but I want to avoid the scroll bar so I need to manipulate my form a bit so if I just refresh this for me it's gonna be pretty easy all I need to do is go here I'm gonna go back to Wufu because if I wanna manipulate the form I have to do it through Wufu if I click edit I think that I could just get this comments button to go from medium which is this which is actually a whole lot of comments if you sit there and type something out. I don't need that much space. Uh, I could just get away with making this smaller. If I save it, let's see, I'll give this form a refresh. Ah, look at that. And it all fits perfectly in there. Uh, very nice. And of course this form is going to work just like the other one did. And I'll just do a little demo of the whole thing on the actual page. So let's see, R, G, W, R, A, Y, and then subject. And let's see what it looks like. Cool. Uh, remember, you're not going to get rid of this button over here because that's part of, uh, hey, create your own form for free. Obviously, this is why you're getting it for free. But, um, but there you go. The form works. They got a confirmation notice. Um, they checked their email. They'll be getting a confirmation email as well. So will I, the administrator. And and that's it. And I have a, uh, a way for visitors to actually reach out to me to um, 
you know, to do some business, right? I mean, that's the whole point of even having a website is to actually engage with your visitors, and a form is a great way to do that.